Better. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome for the next uh, 50 minutes or so. Welcome to Guyana. So I'm going to take you on a little journey in Guyana, showing you um, some of our birds, some of our wildlife, um, some of our people, how to get there, and what you need to do in terms of um, visiting Guyana. Hi, welcome to the channel. Carl Anthony Brown with you. It's another day in Oakham. And it's another good day too when we are heading off to the global bird fair which after yesterday looking back at it was ever so interesting it was a good beginning and a new era because we've just stepped out of uh, covid and now we are looking at something great along with me of course is wildlife and being yesterday was um we had, of course, Neil Marks was there. I call him Keith Marks, my apologies. Clear Antel, and the booth was picking up itself. Well, before we wreck this, how was, how do you think yesterday was? Um, yesterday went quite well. Um, I think there's this, uh, the interest that was shown by um, many persons. Um, it seems that they, this lull in the COVID period of, in yeah. terms of um, you know international travel have actually yeah. bumped Guyana up on several persons lists yeah. mm -hmm. so that was you know for me as a as a guide and as a as a guide and an interpreter there mm -hmm. that reflects very positive you know yeah. a positive indication for me um, and I think also hearing the testimonials of mm -hmm. people who have visited before and mm -hmm. who looking coming looking to come back again and visit because Guyana during that period of time and mm -hmm. just before um, the COVID, which you say you know from twenty, basically from twenty nineteen or such, yes. a few other lodges have come into to play and yeah. and several of the lodges during the COVID lull period has um, increased their which you say their product their um, product line have done have made a what we call bush uh, bush camps and all yeah. of that so. Folks have been monitoring that, have been hearing about it. So now it's not only, oh, we want the the, be the posh bed at the end of the day, mm -hmm. but we don't mind relaxing in this hammock, which is in a remote area where there's lots more. You, you're literally submerged in the wilderness. Right. Um, one of those camp names is Mapari, for instance. And um, so there have been, there actually three couples that indicated to me, Wally, we are already gonna, we're gonna be back there. And they all indicate within 12, you guys within an 18 month period from now. Mm -hmm. So, within 18 months, all those three couples will be revisiting um, Guyana. And I so, there are many more that, you know, that indicates, you know, interest, many. Yes, I, I think the interest is up very much too because I did have a few people who have just heard of Guyana and decided, well, you know, where is Guyana and wanted to know. The educational side of things was very, very much from our part because. It's amazing how people lived here in the UK and did not know much about Guyana. You only hear about it. A lot of people thought it was a French Guyana or, you know, didn't know where to get there or how to get there. And the maps that we took out, we have brought quite a lot of our memorabilia as well as educational material, which we hope will disseminate and we'll get to people throughout today. Also, one of the things I found interesting was, as I said, a new set of people coming in. They knew um, uh, people who were bringing their products out and selling their countries. But hopefully today I'll be able to get around and as the day progresses and see what there is and some of the different operators and we take it there. But I keep insisting again that these are platforms that Ghana should and would always and should always be attending. Yeah. Um, if we want to make ourselves known to the world, if we want to be able to sell our product, to know that there is a country, and we've got the best actually when you look at it, oh, yeah. the yeah, yeah. nature, we, have, yeah. we <laughs> have one of the best I think. I think, well, I always say to people, the majestic Kaicho Falls, even though they're, we discovered the other waterfall, which yeah, the, Uchi, the Uchi Falls, the Uchi Falls, I mean, that's on our magazine, but it's interesting. but. I don't know what. I think if you've never been to Guyana, it's a time that you should make it your itinerary. Might be a bit costly, but then see there are ways of getting there. And I think that for me, I would say the Kaicho Falls is my best. I don't know why. I saw the Kaicho twice. I went on the Kaicho, stood on the edge, and I always said to people, in describing the Kaicho Falls, to me, the Kaicho is like a lion. It's an aggressive waterfall, but as you, the closer you get to it, you can hear its roar, but the closer you get to it, the warmer it, it warms to you. 
it, it, it's a magnetic field it draws you in and you could stay there for hours and look at it and become a part of it. It's really, really a spiritual thing, you know, it's sort yeah. of a real connection. <laughs> but yes, um, we're here to bring you all the information. If you're hoping to visit Guyana and you liked and you've never been, never heard of Guyana, but knowing it now and would like to visit, it's easy to get in there. We'll tell you more about that later because, I mean, flying as, as we discovered from the United Kingdom, via Port of Spain, Trinidad, via Barbados, due to Caribbean. You can get into Guyana. You can even have a, a two-week holiday and go there and spend one week in one minute and another week in Guyana. And then, this, you know, you can travel. So we'll be here at the bird fair in three days. Tomorrow is our last. And at the same time, we'll be looking at uh, maybe walk around Oakham and tell you a little bit more about Oakham later on. But for now, the bird fair will be on. We'll be there. Wally will be there. We'll be, as we say, standing there and grinding every corner we can to ensure that people do come down to Guyana and Guyana will be the destination as we are here to promote it, that nature destination, Indeed. destination Indeed. and um, so on. <laughs> so we'll get into the site and then we'll take it up from there and before we go, what do you want to say anything? Um, you I would say tired. today, I would say today <laughs> um, what we're expecting today is family day because the, yeah. the, the hardcore um, borders and holidays and, and the, we will see the hardcore crew for the board fair event yeah. would have been yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today, Saturday family, would be family kids, day. So yeah. So we were expecting that interest, you know, so in terms of now selling Guyana as a family oriented um yeah, yeah family oriented package. package yeah. And in and in that way to with a family, even though they might be interested in birding, yeah. you is the time to, to sell we wish to say the wildlife and the landscape and the culture. Yes. Because family look at those three yes. more than individuals or couples who yep. might be a little bit more tunnel vision on birding or mm. photography or such. Family will just have a broader umbrella. Yes, you know they're more umbrella like than stick like if you want to call it. <laughs> you know, my, yes. that's the way I just compare it. You know? Yeah, it's fun so, yeah. because the kids come around and they they take the figurines. They look at the little the little animals we have. Mm. I mean, they look at the, the birds, the harpy girl, and just, they get excited when they see the little thing because a lot of them have never really come across the little miniature um, artifacts that we have. They don't look at. They've never seen them. I mean, they're there, but in plastic. But I think because we have them in Balata, yeah. it's yeah. like really live-like, but it's really good. But yeah, yeah we'll catch you later. And, and, we'll it's, keep and it's, um, it's a good uh, geography lesson yeah. for the Yes, yeah. certainly so. Yeah. So we'll catch you later. Again, we're off the bird fair, day two. Okay, we're just getting on to our marquee, which is the Nightingale, Nightingale marquee, where we'll start our day, day two of the bird fair today, so the global bird fair. So we'll get in there and we'll get things together and ensure that they really rock and roll. The next talk is by Wally, and it's Guyana's Birding Landscape. Have everyone is hearing me, Clary? Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome for the next uh, 50 minutes or so, welcome to Guyana. So I'm going to take you on a little journey in Guyana showing you um, some of our birds, some of our wildlife, um, some of our people how to get there and what you need to do in terms of um, visiting Guyana. Hi, I'm Claire Thorne from Wilderness Explorers of Guyana and I'm thrilled to be back at the Bird Fair after three years break due to the pandemic. It's so wonderful to be on our big beautiful Guyana stand this weekend talking to old friends and new about the wonderful destination of Guyana. We are so popular at the moment, people want to see all our incredible bird life and it's really important that we're here along with our friends from different parts of South America and the world. So very pleased to be back at Bird Fair, the sun is shining, people are happy to be here and so are we. Hi, I'm Chris Smith from Wildlife Worldwide. Uh, we're selling Guyana again after the pandemic. Um, and we've had clients travelling there and we've got some group tours coming out. Going there very soon. Um, it's great to be sending clients back to Guyana and, and helping it get back on the, on the tourist trail. Now, 
Hi, yes, today has been one of the days. Yes, welcome back to the Bread Fair. Um, yes, you saw me this morning and we're here and it has been one of the hectic days. I must say day two has been sort of inviting, exciting, a little more challenging. Um, I've got Wally with me and a lot of um, events took place today. Um, with the Guyana booth, we had a number of people coming through, um, but of a different level. The quality of people came through today were more of an interest of wanting to know and uh, wanting to know what Guyana really has to offer. But apart from that, we also had uh, the lecture, which was presented by Wally, which was very informative, um, enlightening people about Guyana and what there is in the world of nature. But I've got Wally here with me, so I'll have Wally tell you a little bit more about today's events and his lecture, and then we'll take it from there before we move on to tomorrow, which is day three. Hi. I should say good evening, good afternoon everyone because it's the end of the day too, um, end of Saturday, mm -hmm. a bird free of us. Um, and so we've had, as Carl mentioned, a series of folks that passed through um, again, uh, lots of interest, um, even some family groups and such, and some more testimonials of people who have visited. And what else? And at 4 p.m. I had my lecture today on Guyana birding landscape, talking about Guyana, talking about the wildlife, the bird life, how to get there, the COVID requirements, and, and all of that, which was well received. I think I had one of the biggest turnout. Um, I didn't get to see the, you should say, the attendance tally, but I'm sure it's pushing around 100 individual, individuals that attended my um, 50 minutes presentation at the Avocet um, Marquee. So, it all so far getting you know looks great getting better tomorrow is another day um we'll see what tomorrow brings tomorrow is our wrap-up day and mm -hmm. um and so yeah it has been a great two days so far it looks like it's going to be optimistic being optimistic both carl and i um being optimistic is going to be a great three days and yeah looking forward to that and looking forward for the heat that's supposed to be expected this weekend and such so coming from you know a few degrees north of the equator hot i want to see what is all this hype about the english heat is about, is about. <laughs> yeah i must say we had very good weather in our favor and one of the nice things also we did was to introduce people to uh, they had a taste of guy in a rum which was of course a nice yeah. little um, entertainment for them. People were interested, I must have the figurines which we had. And uh, other than that, it was well received. We look forward to bringing you and keeping you informed as to what's been happening here at uh, International Bird, um, what is the Global Bird Fair. Global Bird Fair. You know the International Bird Fair stuck in my brain? <laughs> because I've been doing so much the Global International you know, was. Six, one, three, but half a dozen, yes, together. it has been really fun. And we want to say thank you for being along with us as we share this with you because it's only fair that we enlighten you to what Guyana is doing abroad when we come out to these events. And so we will meet again. Tomorrow I'll give you the final day. Actually, it's going to be a lull tomorrow. It might be a little bit more quieter. We did walk around. I did go around looking at Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, a few of the uh, areas um, operators who were selling Guyana. It was a challenge and to know that, yes, people are coming out and the international platform is there. So until we meet again, Carl Anthony Brown saying yes, it was good being here. And on behalf of Wally, um, Clear at Nell, who's not with us, and Neil Marks, who's not with us at the moment today. But yes, we will keep in touch and it was good catching you up. Until we meet again, as I always say, peace out and catch you later. <laughs> Take care, bye.